In this new version 1.5.0, if we go to our workflow or chat flow canvas, we will notice there's this variable inspect button we just added. But if we click on it, there's really not too much information here. So to make this panel useful, I would click on the wrong button at the upper right corner to give my workflow a test run. Once the test run is finished, all the variables that are being used in this workflow will be cached in here. We can inspect the value of each variable, and we can even edit the value the way we want. So let's jump into this deep research template. You can always find this template at DFI's explore page. So to use this deep research chat flow, we just need to choose the depths we want this research to be and type into the topic we want to work with. So here I'm going to use DAF3 and I will just ask, let's talk about staying up late scrolling social media. So this chat flow will first use a code block that will create an array that has as many objects as the DAFs we just used. And then this iteration block will iterate as many times as how deep we want this research to be. So inside this iteration block, we have this LM to extract the search topic for us. And then we pass that search topic to the tablet search too. Tablet search is a search engine built specifically for AI agent. So tablet search will store all the search results in a variable called findings. Outside the iteration block, our reasoning model, DeepSeq, will work with these findings and generate the final report for us. So to see how this variable inspect panel can help us, we can click on this view cached variables. And we've got all the variables that we've been used in this chat flow. And if we click on the topics variable, since we're using DAF3, we will get three different subtopics around staying up late, scrolling social media. We can also inspect the findings variable that Tablet has searched for us. Another amazing feature of this panel is we can edit the value inside each of these variables. So for example, I don't like the third subtopic. I want to remove it from my search result. All I need to do is select and delete this part. So here after the deletion, it gives me an error, which is because we missed the comma over here. And then if we go to our reading model and click on this run this step button, we'll find DeepSeq will rewrite this report without the topic we just deleted. And the last thing I want to show you here is now for each node, we have this last run button. So before version 1.5.0, if we want to test run a single node, we will get the log for running this node but if we close this window, all the task log we just had will be gone. So now with this last run and variable inspect panel, the storage of the last test run log will persist. We no longer need to worry about accidentally closing this window. So that's it. Go try this new feature at cloud.difi.ai and I will see you in my next video.